or salute to you all out there, and welcome to the final day of May to- well, actually, welcome to Springing Into Summer Shenanigans, also known as Summer Shenanigans Season 5, and welcome to the final day of May to Gear Solid, where we play Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. And... As I've said in some of the other uh, Metal Gear Solid videos, this one is, controversially, my absolute favorite. Because, I don't know, I just really like this story in this one because it harkens back to every single other game in the series. Uh, well, every single main one, so Metal Gear Solid's 1 through 3. Uh, I don't know if it references some of like the side games and all that, but it, it, har it harkens back to those games... And just everything about it is so, so good. And of course, there's this little intro sequence there, but it's so long as is. Uh, I'm not going to go into, like, mission briefing or anything like that. I'll probably do that once I actually, um, once I actually do, uh, the actual Let's Play. Hmm. Interesting. You know what? Since this is the final game that I'm going to be playing for May Till Gear Solid, I think it's time to start doing hard mode. So we're gonna go big boss hard. And this is the first game in the series that actually uses X as the affirmation but button. Which I mean, granted, doesn't make sense because you know it's it's X, but whatever, right? Now, if you're just tuning in. You must be thinking, these guys are crazy. What are they staring at that pile of seaweed? I haven't for? played the beginning of this game sure in so is long. What I'm well, what you're actually looking at is an, an octopus. octopus. But this game is just these so good. The gameplay is so different, but it's kind of what I like about it. It's so texture. interesting. Some have even been observed. I, uh, I just don't know. And honestly, Metal Gear Solid could have ended on this game. And I think people might have been upset about it, but I think a lot of people might have also been kind of happy with it. Expensive taste, huh? When they're hungry, right? I'm so excited for this. Serious tale. No, they haul all eight on. That's right. And if we're lucky, we may get to see what's called jet propulsion. Ooh. It's the only time you'll see an octopus go fast. And I mean real fast. Hmm. Really intelligent creatures. Really I'm really trying to look around to see at things that I might have missed last hey, time. Yeah. I played this game. Men keeping these guys as pets. They often <laughs> find their way out of captivity. Yeah. Mm, really intelligent creatures. And this was another three-year gap in between games. From, so from in between Metal Gear Solid 3 and 4, there was another three years. Uh, and, and in that time, it moved to the next system. Uh, these intro scenes are, are very strange, might I add. Uh, they almost have... They almost have nothing to do with the game. But that first one kind of had some, some reason. I can't remember if this one really had any any direction or any relation to the to the main game besides you know the weapons but i guess it was just something new they were trying but not gonna lie it is a it is a smidgen weird <laughs> i have no idea what's going on <laughs> granted i had no idea when i first played this game either Oh, that is weird. One of the ladies has something over her mouth, and then the other one has something over her, over her eyes. But, here we go. Starting in to Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots. At some point. Give it a second. There we go. Oh, this music. See, I'm still afraid to to actually let this music play out a little bit because of the whole whole false copyright thing. So I might just talk over it just a smidgen and stop talking at some point so you can hear it. But again, Hideo Kojima, 
David Hayter. God, so many praises to all the people who make and have a role in this game. And everything, just everything about it. Perfect. Perfect in every way. I mean, granted, yes, every game does have its flaws, and this one does too have its flaws. People complained that this one was... There were definitely complaints about this one, because uh, I haven't heard much about this one. I've only heard a lot of good things about, like, 1, 3, and 5. So I guess only the odd ones got good praise. Which is a shame, because I honestly like them all. Oh, but this one, this one, I think this one probably looks... Uh, no, that's a lie. Metal Gear Solid Five looks the best of all of them. But of the time, this one definitely looked the best because it's just... Well, I mean, it was the most... Most, uh... Developed. At least, time-wise. I don't know if it took the most to develop. Has changed. And I love... I love David Hayter's portrayal of this snake... Of this snake. Series of proxy battles fought by mercenaries and machines. Ugh. War and its consumption of life has become a well oiled machine. Like, I don't know if there are any effects added to David Hayter's voice or if that's just him talking. If it's just him talking, like, freaking kudos. Like, you did a fantastic job. I mean, any snake you do, you've done a fantastic job. You will be the only snake in my heart. Information control. Emotion control. Only solid snake, that is. Everything is monitored and kept under control. And I believe this one is actually set to take place... I think either in 2014 or 2018, I can't remember. But it's definitely like some point near the the future that we live in now. Who controls the battlefield? Controls history. I can't remember when it's supposed to take place. More has changed. But as you can see, this one is pretty different from from the other ones. Because it's not one man mission. You're kind of well. It does become a one-man mission later, but... It's not as stealthy as the other ones. Just kind of getting right into it, right into the heat of it. Gun jam. So much praise for this game. I just love it so much. Oh. Ugh. Lots of brutality and, and death. Perfect music score to go with this. And we're starting right into it. All we have is our trusty stun knife and a few rations. Control's pretty much the same compared to the other games. Um, there are a few little minor differences, uh, but that's mostly for combat stuff, and I'll get into that later. If I, if I eventually get to that. So crazy. And it only gets crazier from here, but we won't get to more of the crazy because we're kind of on a time period and then we won't play the rest of it. I'm actually going to have to change some of the settings here in a second, just so the subtitles are on. <laughs> Watch your rain. You may all, you may notice that our stamina bar is back, and also our a ooh, excuse me, we have a stress bar now. Um, controls, audio view, in-game subtitles. Oh, I guess they are on. I guess they're just not uh, available yet. 
but all we have is a knife, and literally, there's not a lot we can do. We can pick up weapons, but they're not... Um, actually, they might be? Oh, I guess some of them are. But we can only carry five weapons at once. Uh, let me switch that. Real quick. I wonder if that cutscene changes if you don't have any weapons. People are just getting absolutely brutalized. Granted, like Snake is saying, war has changed, and that's kind of a kind of a downside of war. Oh my god, those that guy's eyes were nuts! Oh my god, what is up with their eyes? <laughs> but, I think this is actually our first look at what this, what these games are all about and where it gets the name from. These are Metal Gears. This is kind of our first instance of seeing an actual Metal Gear, which is surprising for it being a series called Metal Gear Solid. But of course, once we let's play the games, you'll see, you'll get a better reason, get a, get a better feeling for why it's called that. All right, so now, we gotta deal with those guys. That's not what I wanted. Um, Head north and try, not to try not to try not to run to any gecko. I will certainly try, my friend. And if you don't realize who that is, uh, he was with us for only one of the other games that we have played so far. But understandable because he wasn't in the third one. And what? Oh, I think one of the geckos noticed me. I think, I think that's what that was. Oh, that's a gecko. Oh, that's a gecko. I'm trying to run with the wrong button because I'm so used to playing uh, Metal Gear Solid 5. Again, kudos to the music creators and sound directors. And everyone else who made this game. You're going to hear me say about say that a lot while I'm playing these games. And I apologize if that gets a little annoying. But, again, another, uh, if you press L1 instead of R1 this time, you can look into first person view during some cutscenes. Oh, <laughs> First actual look at the new snake. This is old snake. We gotta run from the geckos. They got wire hands. Like you should know this by now that their metal parts are bulletproof. <laughs> Silly Metal Gear, you can't climb upstairs.
I love I love this cardboard box. No place for Hideo, as in the creator of the game. But of course, there's just a box of watermelons. We get our first look at the Octo Camo, which is the new form of camouflage for this game as compared to um, Metal Gear Solid 3, where you just had the different camouflages that you could put that you could put on. Metal Gear Solid 4. Title card. Being old, he can still still move around pretty well. Got his little cigarette keeper, I guess. To this day, I still don't kind of know what that is. Such nice direction, even though it's super blurry. Well, I think it's actually time to get started on some gameplay. Uh, sure, why not? We'll save the game. As you can see, I've got a bunch of other other saves of the game. And I so wanted to play the final fight of this game, but it would be so spoilery, but it's so good. But of course I didn't because I promised myself I wouldn't play the ends of these of these games just because of the spoilers and all that. And I'd rather wait until we actually get there during the let's play. Cause then it just it just feels better. And another thing with these cutscenes, which I think shows up here, is that you can have flashbacks to the previous games, which I thought was super cool. After playing through them like one after another within a year or two, uh, being like, whoa, it's so nice to see like the references that these games are kind of poking at, or that this game is kind of poking at. This is our actual first look at Otacon. Otacon. Even the dead have ears. Snake, we've got to go. We've got an old friend waiting for you. Otacon. The test results. Proteome analysis was positive, but the mRNA analysis turned up negative. Of course, some of this might not make sense if you haven't played the, wrinkled skin, the, the other Metal Gear Your Solid games, but you know what? That's okay. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> but none of the tests were able to pinpoint the cause. So... Judging by how rapidly the aging has progressed, I'd say a year at best, right? Yeah. His hands are so wrinkly. It's like he's been swimming too much. <laughs> Snake, let's try another doctor. It won't make any difference. 
I'm not an ordinary man to begin with. Not to mention Fox die. That's a whole thing we'll have to get into when we play the first game. You're right. But we don't know where Naomi is. Uh, Naomi. This is another one of the uh, one of the Metal Gear Solid games that uh, that uh, we're gonna have to uh, do longer episodes on because. Uh, because uh, this game has hey. a pretty long introduction. Colonel. Good to see you. Well, you know what? That's all right. I still like just talking about it and watching well, some of the cutscenes. Because even even if we're just watching the cutscenes and not playing the games, I, I still get to talk about it. And like that would be your daughter's wedding. And uh, what are you doing? These you know, days? just kind of praise this game. I'm working for an organization under the UN Security Council. The but as you saw by the last episode, having a longer episode, for whatever reason, kind of kind of doesn't allow me to, to put my intro on it. It's just something with my phone having to, uh, capacity issues. But, but, you know, I'll figure it out. But as of right now, I'm just kind of, I'm just kind of going with, with what I'm going with what I can. Explain along the way. We've got to stop him now. Before it's too late. Let me see if I can't get into more gameplay. He's preparing to unleash his insurrection. Liquid is lying in wait in a Middle Eastern war zone. Track him down. I think this also goes into the mission briefing just a little bit, but but that's all right. We'll see where it goes. Again, this is just kind of, yeah, okay. Uh, only two eggs today? Holidays must have taken the day off. Sun. Hey, that rhymes. But that's okay. <laughs> oh, that was super bright. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to delve into a decently long episode for this one. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. All right. All right. Cool. 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 Good. Good. Ah, classic sound. You better take that call. <laughs> A much better looking. This is a snake. Do you read me? What's the situation? I'm just inside the city limits. This place is crawling with lizards. Ah, uh, AT Corps unmanned bipedal weapons, officially designated Irving by the U.S. military. They've spread like wildfire among the PMCs. There are more of those things now in service than tanks. They've got tough armor plating and are highly agile to boot. Your best bet is to stay out of their sights. Unmanned. Pretty soon they'll have put living, breathing soldiers out of work. Even so, that's an awful lot of gecko for this scenario. Their numbers exceed the war price for that region. It must have something to do with Liquid's arrival on the scene. Mm. You really no, think Not a lot of this here. is going to make sense to unless you've actually played through these games, but you know what? That's okay. Oh, Again, snake. this is more I of a time for me to Mark experiment. To and if you guys enjoy it as well, then arrival. that's even You'll better. Find it up ahead. Mark II. It's a remote mobile terminal. Sonny and I built it. The Mark II will provide you with a map of the area as well as any battle situation data. You should find it before you do anything else. Well, then we're okay. going to go find it. Got it. The rendezvous point is marked on your map. I'll be waiting for you there. Good. 
we're gonna go do that. And we'll do, we get the auto camo, which I will demonstrate how that works. Uh, when you're pressed up against something for a long time, and by a long time I mean a couple of seconds, you will uh, automatically camouflage. If you shake the controller, you will go back. So now we have to go meet up with the Mark II. And unfortunately for us, we got a little bit of a problem on our hands. We got some military men in the way. Of course, again, for me, when I was first playing through this part, it got, uh, I got... I didn't, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to... There we go. I want. I was trying to get into that view, because um, if you press triangle, you can actually go into the iron sights view. How did I get hit? What? Just get that guy out of the way. Just crawl. Get away. <laughs> Arsenal compress. I still don't know what the compresses do. Uh, I don't use them a lot. All right, let's just. I don't want to. I don't want to game over immediately. That would be embarrassing. All right, you know what? Uh, we're just gonna leave that on there. Huh? All right, you know what? What if we just hide in here? Will they see me? Do they know I'm here? Do they know I'm here? This is super embarrassing. I am not normally this bad. <laughs> well, we're just gonna lay here and... I guess... Not. Oh, somebody threw a bomb or something. Uh, I think this gets... Yeah, when my life gauge reaches zero, that gets used automatically. Now, a thing I can actually do... Uh, in this game... Is I have an iPod and I can listen to it, and it brings back some of the Metal Gear music. It has some some other music on it. It's, it's nice. It's cool. Uh, unfortunately, with you know copyright issues, all that, I don't think I'm going to. Gonna, you know, it's gonna be tougher to break through. Move past. It might be best to avoid that area altogether if you can. All right. Well, I'm gonna go in here. This man's dead. Hey, Josh. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, this game does not do the sneaking as much as it does the. What happened? It, uh, it doesn't do the sneaking as much as it does the whole combat as aspect. Also, this is an amazing camouflage. Can we just admire this camouflage for a second? Alright. Uh, I've forgotten how to run. Is that a problem? Probably. Is it square? I think it's square. But we're on to the next area. Of course, we're still alert. Is it circle? No, circle's reload. X is prone. I guess we just have one one speed. I don't know. I haven't played this game in a bit. Just gotta just gotta get people out of the way. If they're in the way, get them out of the way. Uh, we're gonna go upstairs, I guess. I've forgotten which which way I need to go. You know what? That's all right. Uh, we're gonna swing up over here. No, you don't. Ignore me. Yeah. So it's not as much as like sneaking around. You cannot be spotted absolutely under no circumstance. Oops. 
Oh shoot. Am I rushing it? No, it didn't. Okay, wow. I, I'm so glad I noticed that. Because as you can see... Ow, oh God! Well, as you can see there, if you if your health goes down to zero, your ration gets used automatically. And then when you die, you have flashbacks. Uh, I'm not going to end it here because that was kind of an embarrassing show of, of uh, what this game is actually about. Uh, I at least maybe want to get to Mark II. I might not just because that's kind of a longer cutscene, so I might actually end it off here. But I don't actually... Uh, a way to save, so... What? Uh, what? Frick you! Alright, you know what? Oh my gosh. Alright, you know what? I think I'm gonna end this, uh, end things off here. The, oh, hi, there's a cardboard box here. I think I'm gonna end things off here. I know this was, this video was kind of short and it didn't exactly show as much as the gameplay as I think I would have liked to have shown. Um, but, you know, as I, as I said, this kind of just gives me a feel of how I'm gonna eventually play these games. This was my favorite, so I'm a little sad that um, this one does have to end like this, where I'm not giving it as much uh, attention. But I did give it the praise that I think it deserves uh, for at least one episode, because uh, I definitely want to save more of my more of my praise for when I actually play the game. But yeah, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy this episode, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you have not. And don't forget to ring that bell to get notifications of when I upload next. Where'd he go? And, <laughs> and I will see you guys all next time. Ah, uh, bye bye bye.